Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Church 
service of God and for the union of all, let us break the Lord. For this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us break the Lord. For our metropolitan teacon, for our Archbishop Mark, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. For this country as president, for all civil authorities, and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Remembering to our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the hope, most never Virgin Mary, and all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. For thou art the God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee do we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, master, pardon our transgressions. 
said, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
glorious and a laudable apostles of our Father among the saints, Nicholas the Wonder Worker, Archbishop of Mira and Lycia, of Tarasius, the Archbishop of Constantinople, whose memory we keep this day, and of all the saints that have shone forth in this North American land, and of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joy, Kim, and Anna, have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good, and he loves mankind. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Earlier this week, I was having a, a conversation with one of my children, and they were getting all excited for their birthday, because birthdays are exciting, right? And uh, I wanted to mess with them a little bit. And I said, you know what? We're not going to celebrate birthdays anymore, kids. We're going to celebrate our death days. And they looked at me with wide eyes. And I said, no, not really. But that's what, they, that's what we do in the church. We celebrate the death days of the saints. So on this day in the year 806, Tarasius of Constantinople closed his eyes to this world and opened them to the world to come. It's actually his birthday into eternity is a better way to look at it. And I think we have to remember that when we're celebrating these feasts and we're commemorating these saints, these Christians who lived before us, who, whose lives have been set before us in, as, as an example, um, we have to remember that um, the day that is celebrated ultimately for them, I'm sure they celebrated birthdays in some way or another, but really was their birth into eternity, into the kingdom. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Uh, we as Christians are kingdom-oriented and kingdom-focused. And the celebration of the saints is an opportunity for us to enter into that, uh, into that reality, to celebrate not only their lives and the things that they accomplished, but also their, um, their um, experiencing that which they lived for, which is to be united with Christ more perfectly, be united with Christ. And that's also our, our hope. Um, Tarasius is um, it's kind of an interesting story. He was um, an 8th century and early 9th century saint. So every time you talk about centuries, it's like the 8th century is the 700s, the 9th century is the 800s. It's kind of a weird way to tell time. I always have to think about it, right? So um, he, was, um, he lived his life and worked uh, um, in the church uh, in the 700s, but he didn't begin uh, in the normal way. He was actually a senator. And the prior uh, bishop um, decided that he didn't want it anymore, and so he secretly went away, became tonsured a monastic, and said, I think that Tarasius should be the next bishop. Can you imagine that? That's what happened. But he was a man of great piety, and obviously the Holy Spirit allowed it, and he was rushed through the ranks. He was made a reader, a subdeacon, a deacon, a priest, and a bishop in short order. I was thinking to myself, what were the, the priests and the other people who were like qualified at the time thinking? Like, none of us was seems to be worthy of this particular position, but it ended up being for the good. It ended up really being for the good because he guided the church uh, with great love and great piety, he had a particular place for the poor. Uh, and we know that it was within uh, this, uh, this period of the Byzantine Empire that hospitals and hostels and all these other things were uh, developed to help um, minister to the poor. Because the pagan idea was like, if you don't have it, forget about you. It just ignored people who were suffering. It was through the church and its growth and people like Tarasius who said, it is our responsibility as Christians to care for these people who are struggling. Uh, that uh, he won some of the um, people's hearts uh, and they were oriented more deeply towards Christ. And so he had a great love for the poor. He also had boldness. The emperor uh, at the time decided that he wanted to put away his wife and Tarasius told him that he couldn't take communion until he repented. Um, so he was bold. He was bold. Um, and I think for our purpose, 
um, it's good to know that he also oversaw the Seventh Ecumenical Council, which is the one that defended the holy icons. And so he was one who loved the image of Christ and saw the image of Christ in others and wanted the churches to be adorned and beautified with the images of Jesus Christ and his saints. Uh, and ultimately, uh, he became one of them. And I think for us, it's also good every so often to hear about a saint that didn't get put to death. Right? Because we have so many martyrs. It's like, is that the only way to become a saint? Absolutely not. Um, there just happened to be a lot who took that path uh, of martyrdom. But Tarasius died of old age. Um, uh, and on this day of his death, uh, on this anniversary of his death, beginning in 806, uh, we have had this opportunity to remember him. At first, they remembered him through Panahidas, and then after that, they began to ask his intercessions before the throne of God, so that we, with all of the saints, might enter the kingdom of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to God. So just to be clear, we are still celebrating birthdays in my house. I, didn't, I haven't gone super zealous, okay? I just want you all to know that. Um, uh, this evening, a Bible study is at 7.30 uh, p.m. As a reminder, too, uh, make sure that um, uh, you uh, register for the annual meeting uh, online uh, because we're going to be doing it through Zoom. And uh, just make sure that you, you register. I know it's going to be awkward and weird, uh, but eventually we'll get back to having it the way that we like to. Nice and messy and in person, okay? God bless you all. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us.